Hello, and welcome to Vane Five. Well, my name is Vanessa, just call me Vanessa. Vanessa plays Memory Days Sim Date. If you don't know what a Sim Date is, then why are you here? Maybe to listen to my awesome voice. Anyway, this, this is a Sim Date where Sim is short for simulation, and then you get to date people. Simple enough. And it's made by Pactasis, who made tons of other um awesome sim dates my favorite is chrono day sim date and i actually tried recording that a while back but some of the recording was weird and i decided to just scrap it all together anyway i decided to start afresh with memory day sim date because i haven't seen people talk about this one that much and i actually can't remember what happens in it all i know are um, I, I did input a whole bunch of cheat codes and got all the relationships with all the guys you could date. So let's look at the info. A dating simulation for girls with an interactive story and ten different endings. Ten? Oh, wow. That That's pretty cool, actually. I didn't know I had ten endings. Um, credits. Aha! There. Kevin McLeod. He... His music is available for free, I think, which is why it's very familiar to me. And I've heard it in other people's videos. And it's really awkward because I played this game first and heard his music here first. So whenever I hear it anywhere else, I just think dating sims and practices. Okay, so play. Hi. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you follow the Yogg's cast, specifically Yogg's cast Shin, but I know in his Feed the World series, he has this music. And I'm pretty sure the Yogg's cast um, Black Rock Chronicles uses some of the music from Kevin McLeod, however you pronounce his name. So, yeah, his, his stuff is pretty much everywhere, so if you feel nostalgia over something else, then... Yeah, it's, it's just because it's the same music. What is your name? I. My name is actually Vanessa, and it's spelled with one S like this. But I'm going to stick with the default name, because, I don't know, I, I just like sticking with the default names, like Fire Emblem 7, the, like, the Blazing Sword, the first one in North America. I like to keep Mark, because why not? Like, Mark's a pretty cool name. Oh, dear, I think this determines stats. What do you remember about your childhood? Enjoying the outdoors, being surrounded by people I love, or I don't remember much. Oh, I actually don't know what any of these stats does do, but um, I'm gonna go with... I do remember being surrounded by people I love. I had a great childhood. What are you most afraid of? Things that threaten you uncertain future Okay, confronting other people is probably one of my biggest fears because I'm afraid of being confronted myself like can you imagine someone just comes up to you and they're like yeah your attitude was really bad and this is an intervention and everything you've been doing is wrong like I know it's something you need to hear but I, I'm just hoping I'm just winging it my life in my entire life and hoping that maybe no one will actually call me out on it and I can pick up on what's wrong with me myself. But I don't think confronting other people doesn't... Like, things that threaten me, that's pretty obvious. Well, I, I am afraid of things that threaten me. I have, like, anxiety, so a whole lot of stuff that isn't actually threatening would feel like it threatens me. But the uncertain future... enjoy that. I don't, I'm not afraid of it. I'm like, oh, tomorrow we could be visited by aliens and there's no way to sit. Like, it's highly unlikely, but it's not impossible, is it? You think there, there's life in the universe out there that can find us? Anyway, um, wow, this is kind of tough. Yeah, I'd go with things that threaten me, because I am afraid of rational things like car accidents, Losing the ones I love, stuff like that. That that could threaten my well-being, I guess. Does that count? Because these two aren't as much as things that threaten me. And what is most important to you? Finding a purpose, being happy, or the truth. So finding a purpose is all new agey, kind of religious. 
well, like, religion, they kind of give you a purpose anyway. Uh, being happy, that's, that's a good goal. I mean, the concept of happiness today is only very recent, but I think that's pretty good. Or the truth, that's very stoic and pragmatic. I, I would say, I, I really like the truth. Like, I'm, I'm all Persona 4, reach out to the truth. Let's not cheat. I'm used to cheating and dating sims, but but for good reason. Like, I want to figure out everyone's story, and then I can jump right in and pick the one I want. Like, there's cheats for money, health, stats, even relationship points. Like, um, I know in Alice in Wonderland sim date that Pacmus has made, one of the cheats is, I don't want to play this game, and it just gives you max relationship points with everybody. And, like, it doesn't matter if you visit them or not and it's like the whole point of the game was just gone because you decided that you didn't want to play this game so you get maximum relationship points. I think you can get maximum relationship position, relationship points with anybody, some stats, some items, money, but I'm gonna just totally wing it because I haven't played this one in a while. Would you like an overview before you start playing? Why not? Like, I already know how this works, but for you guys who don't know, I'm gonna show you. This game will play through four seasonal weeks, beginning with autumn and ending with summer. Watch for special events. The calendar can be viewed from the menu. Eat and sleep for energy. Almost all daily actions require energy. Increase energy by eating, drinking, or sleeping. Sleeping at home progresses each day. But yeah, so this is kind of cool that, like, um, you can gain energy. In most sim dates, you just lose it entirely. Like, maybe there's like special things like, oh, if you visit this girl in the slums, you can get maximum energy in the sim girls. But, here, you can just eat food. And it's logical. But it costs money. And you have to spend energy to get money. So you have to like balance it out. It's hard to socialize when you're in a bad mood. Boring conversations, working, and studying can bring your mood down. Yeah, um, in Padmas' sim dates, you are often given two options to respond whenever some, well, your potential date tells you something. If you get to say the right one, it increases relationship points, and you see, like, a little heart bubble bouncing up and down. But, if you don't, you just don't get any relationship points. Here, there's an extra stat, mood. If you don't get it right, your mood will decrease. <laughs> I don't know. Your mood can be brought back up with leisure activities and good conversations. If your energy and mood are low, you won't be able to do much. The God Mother? That's actually, um, fun fact, that's how Pagmas is often portrayed to herself. If you see in comics of herself or something, she always has these eyes, that hair. It's funny. Mr. Stone. Oh, I think that's Mr. Stu, like Gary Stu, which is uh, another one of Pactus's original characters. She has a bunch of them, it's pretty funny. You can shop at the mall for new rooms, decorations, and gifts. Note that you can only give gifts to others on special occasions such as their birthdays and holidays. Oh man, this game is already so complicated. I oh, keep me track of birthdays. Okay. If you think there's nothing else to do during your current to do during your current week, you can move on to the next week with the skip button. Keep in mind this risks missing opportunities events. Who would do that besides like super cheaters? This ends the overview. Are you ready to play? No, I'd like to view it again. I totally didn't read all of that, yes. They say a lot of weird things happen in West Sigam. Sigam is magic backwards. That took me an embarrassing long amount of time to figure that out when I first played this. We have a summer home in this part of town. Every year we stay here for a week. My parents usually go visit relatives while I stay in the house or explore the city. It may be a different house, but it feels the same. It's huge and well decorated, yet empty. 
because my mom is a lawyer and my father is an architect, home isn't the place where they usually are. Aww. I don't mind being alone. I keep myself busy, but I don't have any friends since I'm not really a people person. And that's what we look like. Yay. It's kind of generic. If you think about a generic anime girl, but like her arms aren't sticks and her neck isn't like a stick like Junko and Oshima of Danganronpa. And like her proportions are pretty alright. I guess it's nice to come here every summer. West Sagam is full of things that my hometown didn't have. Each year I discover more things about the city. Little by little, it becomes a place in my heart. But over time... Is that... Is that a typo? Or? The trees grew taller, parks were destroyed, and new buildings were built. Sometimes I feel like I don't recognize it at all. While my memory only preserves what I remember, it constantly changes. Memory days. Eventually, I come to learn that people are like this too. Is this correctly in the frame? Today is my last day of summer vacation. The school is closed for the summer, but some parts of the building are still open to the public. Why? So they can vandalize it? I I'm not. I, I don't know anything about that. Might as well take a look around. Yay, let's explore abandoned school. Oh. Who are you? You have glasses and blue eyes, therefore I'm interested. Your proportions are a little bit weird, to be honest. Like, maybe we're just towering above you and that's why your head is that much bigger, but... He looks like a little kid. Wait, I think it's supposed to be he looks like a little kid. Because I'm thinking he's supposed to be a teenager, but if he's supposed to be a little kid, it makes sense. I was just looking around. I, I could ask you the same thing, buddy. Me? I, I'm just... I was looking for something. You go to the school, right? Yeah. Do you? No, I live over in Renton. What? Why are you here, then? Summer vacation. I do annual exploring around these parts. That's bizarre. You're bizarre. Is it? I... I um, oh no, I, I intimidated him into stuttering. Don't you have somewhere to be? I should be at home, but there's not much to do there. Don't make your parents worry. It's okay, they don't know that I'm here. I don't know if that's a really good reassurance, but... He rummages around the room. I take a seat at the table and look around at my surroundings. I spot an old notebook wedged between a bookcase and wall. Curiosity causes me to dig it out. Oh, I think I remember this. That's... Is this what you were looking for? Give it to me. Please. Give it back. Thanks. Why is it so important to you? It's... My diary, okay? No, it's okay. You're still Laugh at me. Wait, I, I wasn't. It's stupid, I know. It's not stupid. Please don't say things that I don't mean. Do you think it's stupid? Huh? You don't want other people to know about it because you think they'll laugh at you. But I'm not laughing. In truth, you're the only one who thinks that it's stupid. There's nothing stupid about things that are important to you. What's it? It's I. I. And yours? Huh? Oh, Haru. Oh, man. No, no, no. I'm gonna call you like protagonist of three now. Oh, God. Haru. Before this, I played this. Um, when Free was announced, so Haru was just another Japanese name. Now, now I'm gonna think of the boy in love with water. Look, you're even wearing a blue sweater. Oh, don't do this to me. Da, 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 da. Weird things really do happen in West again. Huh? Uh, I have to go. Um, okay. Da, 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 da. Hey, I? Yeah? Thanks. Aww. Uh, you're
You're welcome. I, I don't know why you would, but you're welcome. I'm glad that this park is still around. Some of the other parks were torn down to build more shops. Oh, there's someone here. Oh, is there another potential of interest? He, he looks like a kid too. What the heck? Okay. I don't want to ask a stranger something wrong right away, because sometimes people don't... They don't want to hear, like, about it. Like, there, there are people who are glad to share their life story with someone they just met, but there are other people who are like, Oh my god, just leave me alone, I'm in a bad mood. So I'm just gonna say hi. Like, that's very... neutral. Hey! You're not from around here, are you? How do you know? Lucky guess. I've never seen you before. What's your name? I'm Daichi. <sighs> it's gonna make me think of that one Persona 4 character. I don't think his name is actually Daichi, but it's very close. I. Oh, that's right. I is also the name of a Persona 4 character. Oh man. I think of the shopping girl now, and I'm gonna think of all these characters in terms of the other person I know them as. Like, I is gonna be a total shopaholic with body issues and all that. I don't know, Persona 4 is awesome. What? Is something funny? Huh? Oh, I didn't mean to smile so much, it's just too sunny. Huh? Sunlight has vitamin D. It's the happy vitamin. Doesn't it make you want to smile too? Oh, I like you. You're all smiley. It's a goofy face that's making you. Makes me want to find shade. Oh. Like, this is a bit overly flirty for my taste. Like, I would never see it. But I don't want to shoot him down. He's just like, don't you want to smile because sunlight has vitamin D? That makes me want to smile. I, I want to say yeah, like is there a third option that's just like yeah, obviously, but no, it's either the goofy face or I want to find shade, and I, I don't want to be too mean, and it doesn't make me want to find shade. Really? That's a good thing, right? Of course. Hold on. Oh no, 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 I'm not skipping the introduction. I thought, oh, okay. And this music? Um, yeah, I guess. Since I have this funny face, that means I'll always see you smiling. Classic. Classic. Your face looks good when you smile. I should let you go now. You probably have things to do. Maybe I'll see you around? Well, we don't really have anything to do, and you just called my face pretty cool. Let's hang out more. No? No? Okay. I'll be leaving tomorrow. Oh. Okay. Huh? I'm just here on vacation. Oh, well, bye, I guess. Wow, I... Really rude. Wait, I belong only to you. You'll meet me once, but never again the same way. You'll live life with me, dream about me, but when your time ends, so will mine. What am I? Huh? It's a riddle, solve it. And I remember that riddle, and I know the answer, but I'm not gonna say the answer. Let's see if you got it. I can't remember what it- <laughs> I read the riddle too fast, didn't I? Oh, I'll just, just go back, pause the video, and be like, huh, what could it be? And especially in this game, why would he ask a riddle like that? I think that was too big of a hint. Um, the next time we meet, tell me the answer then. Not the book. But I- it's okay, I'll remember you. We'll meet again someday, somehow. They say that weird things happen in West again. Like the third person to say that. See you around, I. Oh, I, she said okay then, but I don't really like I's dialogue with him. Huh, this place wasn't here before. Guess it opened up recently. I am kind of hungry, but I don't have any money on me. <sighs> oh man, stereotypical people. Oh, I don't mean offend people, but that like classic hair over one eye, and he's all sighing. What's with this guy's hair? Yeah, exactly. Okay, wait, I think because she points out his hair, his hair would be cut or something the next time she sees him. Dun, 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 dun. Awkward. We just made eye contact. Oh, 
Okay, never mind. I and I are the same person. No. I should walk away before I embarrass myself. I, I would have ran away, but I would have told myself that I'm walking away. Do you want my sandwich? What? Huh? I was going to eat it, but I guess I'm not really hungry. I don't want to get food from strangers. Oh. Sorry, I don't mean to sound weird. It's just that I could use some company. Sure. Stop. So how are you? Not bad, I guess. That's nice. How about you? Maybe I'm kind of having a bad day. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It's just that my cousin went missing recently. Oh, it's the cousin. You're the cousin saga person. Yeah, something happened to his cousin. He's older than me. I'm sure he's fine, but I can't help but be worried. Do you think that's weird? It's pretty normal. Why would that be weird? Like, these are basically the same thing. Pretty normal to be worried for your cousin who's been missing. You think so? It's just natural to care about your family, right? I suppose. I'm Kai. What's your name? I don't know any fictional character named Kai, but I know this guy named Kai K-Y. But I haven't spoken to him in a while, so I'm not going to think about him whenever I see this guy. They're pretty different looking. It's I. Kai and Kai. <laughs> nice to meet you, I. You're not really what I expected you to be. Huh? Is that a bad thing? No, not really. It's just your hair and Oh yeah, it's pretty crazy looking, right? Well, like in the anime universe, that's pretty normal. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but I think it's about time that I get it cut. Wait, are you the one with the cousin who would cut your hair? Does that mean the next time we see you you'll just have freakishly long hair? Cause that would be funny. I didn't mean it like that. No, I've been thinking about it for a while now. Getting a haircut might help me let go. My cousin was the last person to give me a haircut. He was pretty upset about it since he cut one side too short. He was determined to fix it, like everything. So I've been growing it out for him. See, I knew it. His cousin was a hairdresser. But nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. He needs to accept that. And I have to accept that he's on his own now. Come on. getting a haircut. That's true. Well, you know what they say. Say it with me, folks. Weird things happen in West Sagam. I should get going. Yeah, she's just like, oh, I knew it. I'm just gonna say that tired phrase I can believe now. To where? Home? Yeah, my parents will throw a fit if they find out I've been leaving the house. Sounds rough. They're kind of overprotective like that. I do care. Like, her parents sound like my parents. My parents are totally like, Massa, where are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you? Where are you? I need to monitor your progress every minute of the day. So I'll see you whenever, I guess. If you ever see me again, don't hesitate to say hi. It's funny how time separates people and creates this invisible awkwardness. Don't let it get to you, okay? That's pretty wise. I like you. Today I made some good memories. Weird things really do happen. 